conspiracy impeachment process involving the West Virginia State Supreme Court is coming to an end. By law, the process ends when the current legislative calendar comes to a close. At the same time, many lawmakers are looking forward to moving on. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more from the Capitol. With new members of the legislature able to be sworn in during the month of December, there really isn't any time left to hold impeachment trials in the state Senate. The House of Delegates would have to start the whole process all over again in the new year, but it could be costly and take attention away from other issues. This comes after the acting Supreme Court halted Senate trials over mistakes in how impeachments were conducted. No question it violates the Constitution. It's uh, it's. Uh, beyond reasonable to even consider this uh, as a, a valid decision. But, uh, you know, we're going to be the adults in the room and we'll uh, uh, proceed accordingly. Well, I think that's concerning, but it, without that argument, the impeachment process was still flawed because of the mistakes the House of Delegates made. The impeachment ruling could be appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court, but you get the sense here that lawmakers want to deal with other issues once the annual legislative session begins in January. Well, I think Democrats are focused on getting rid of the tax on Social Security. That's a double taxation on our people, and I think it's something important we need to do the first day of session. The primary focus and our leadership team has always been focused on creating jobs, opportunity, and uh, growth in West Virginia. It's got to be on the table. To that end, Republicans have named Senator Tom Takuba a Kanawha County doctor as the party's new majority leader. Meantime, this Sunday, House Republicans are set to caucus in this chamber to select a House Speaker for the upcoming 2019 legislative session. At the State Capitol in Charleston, I'm Moore Curtis, 13 News.